here's a hack button. Let's look at the sign first. Decorated bronze match lock hack button, circa 1600. Here we go. There's there's the flash pan where the match lock fires it. And we'll look at it overall. It kind of looks like a bazooka almost. It's got a handle on it that you hook over a wall. And on top it's got IVR, which are the uh, the markings of the thing, okay? And a little uh, shield. Let's see if we can get a better view of that that marking on it. There you go. The shield and there's the IVR. We think that stands for uh, King John V of Scotland. It's got a lot of flame type decorations on it. Very pretty, really. Here's the, uh, here's the sign again. Here's a, a swivel gun. Swedish. It's iron. Probably weighs about 100 pounds. 18th century and 1750 or so. Belonged to uh, Gustav Hammerberg because his coat of arms is on it. The G H monogram with the uh, blacksmith hammer and the wings. That's what they call a tiller. Uh, now we're going to look at a uh, Dutch swivel gun built for the Dutch East India Company. Here's a sign for that. Cast in Amsterdam. Actually, 1764. That's a misprint. Uh, cast by a master founder named Peter Zeest in Amsterdam. There's the Amsterdam town mark. Uh, it's also got 1764 over here. Uh, the A means Amsterdam Admiralty and VOC means Dutch East India Company in their language. We don't know what this little uh, tic-tac-toe mark means here, but it has some numbers and a little grid. It may have something to do with the weight. Uh, that groove is lets you know that it had an iron tiller around it. That's where it wore by swinging back and forth for use as a swivel gun. And that's a swivel gun tiller that's still in place. Here's your uh, magazine back. Thank you. Give Appreciate it. Thought probably we'll do it. Very good. Take form with me, and I'll bring it back to you. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you. Appreciate it. All right. There's a sign again for this one. Here's the uh, br rare bronze breech loading swivel cannon. This thing is about, it's over four feet long. It's got a trough where you put the, uh, the breech in. It uses a beer mug type breech which is missing and it's secured with a wedge that you put through there. It's got a little symbol, unknown symbol right here. Trunnions that mounted on a swivel. Some decoration. More decoration up at the muzzle. That's what that is. Here's a Spanish howitzer. Okay, we shoot this one. I put out a video already of us shooting this one. It weighs 130 pounds, and here are some details on it. Here are two very attractive, actually fantastic Dutch swivel cannons cast in 1755. They're on little carriages, which really aren't very good. But uh, you can see the two nice little Dutch dolphins on them there. One's, this one is numbered two, and the other one's numbered one. We'll take a look at the dolphins. The little uh, flat castable is why you can tell that they're swivel cannons, so you can hook the swivel up in there. Here's the other one. This is number one. And I asked them if they had any antique guns, and they says, we don't, we don't sell guns here. Yeah. And it was just exactly as and you said. Get it was some, like, uh, are you kidding? Some yeah, of the yeah, signs. The attitude's really bad. We've also got this book out here uh, for people to look through of other stuff we have that won't fit on the table. And we've got a nice model cannon here. This model cannon is 18th century. It's probably from about, uh, I'm sorry, 17th century. It's from probably about 1650. It's got a nice little bronze barrel and uh, dolphins, some type of coat of arms, and uh, very interesting wheels. 
Those wheels are early. So that's all this guy has. But uh, anyway, let, let's take another look. Let's go back and take a little review of what he's got there. Here's one of the Dutch swivel guns. That's number one. The other one's number two. There's the model. The other swivel gun. An unknown projectile. Uh, a copy of the journal from the company Military Historians, a good organization to belong to. Spanish howitzer. Dutch swivel gun, 1764. Bronze hackbutt, probably 16th century. Uh, the Swedish iron swivel gun. And uh, strangely enough, the uh, Gerat device.